so in this lecture, we are going to cover stubbing in the scripts for our UI system. So basically, we want to go through and get our UI scripts at least set up so we can start to fill in the logic for them, okay? So let's jump over to, into Unity and get going. All right, so here's where we left off from the last lecture. All right, so we got our login screen and our register screen all set up. All right, so what we want to do now is focus on the scripting of our UI system. Okay, so I'm going to create a couple scripts here. All right, so the first thing I want to do is create a couple folders. I'm going to create a scripts folder and an editor folder. And the editor folder will come in handy as we get to the last few lectures in this entire course. Okay, we're going to make a menu system that will help us automate uh, certain tasks that we, we perform when when creating UIs, okay? Because I don't like necessarily having to set all that stuff up all the time, okay? So, uh, the next thing that I wanna do is jump into the scripts folder here and add a new script, okay? And I'm gonna call this the IP for IndiePixel underscore UI system, all right? And that's just a naming convention that I have come to use over the years of working with Unity. I always like to prefix it with uh, either my company that I'm working with or my personal company or whatever project I'm on. I just put the initials of that particular project. So in this case, the project is called To Do App. I could have put TA, uh, but I'm just gonna put my, the company name in here because this is a reusable set of code or it's going to become a reusable set of code. So I can use it at any project. So might as well call it something generic. So when I drop it into another project, uh, it doesn't specify an older project. It's just IndiePixel or IP, okay? So the next script that I wanna create is the UI sc uh, screen. Okay, so that's gonna be our base screen there that every screen that we create derives from or inherits from. And that'll become more clear as we, as we walk through the course itself, okay? So what I wanna do is select the UI group and drag and drop the UI system onto that particular object, okay? And then for both screens, I wanna put this screen script on there, all right? And that basically gets us set up, okay? So then the next step that we wanna do is actually stub in some of the code because you'll, you'll notice that Unity will set up some really basic template code for us. And what I wanna do is just stub in the things that I always do first. So I always put everything inside of a, a, a namespace. So in this case, I'm gonna put it into indiepixel.ui namespace. All right, and if you're not familiar with namespaces, they allow you to protect code from other code that you might import into your project. All right, so this is especially important when you start working with a lot of assets that you bring in from the asset store. You don't want your code to conflict or clash with some other code that you've imported. Let's say you named a class the same thing as some asset that you've imported from the asset store. They, that would throw an error inside of Unity because it doesn't know which one is the right one. By putting it inside of a namespace, you resolve those types of errors. All right, and then I always like to set up my regions in here. So I'm gonna set up a couple of regions. And this is just something I always do. It's, it's not like it makes the script work any better. <laughs> um, the only thing it really does for us is it um, makes it easy to read, all right? And that you're completely free to come up with your own formats, right? So I'm just showing you what I usually do. Um, and I do this for readability, so the scripts feel organized. And every script follows this convention, right? So every time I open up a script, my own scripts, I know exactly where to start looking for a particular method or variable, so on and so forth. All right. So let's pop open the UI screen script and do the same thing. We're going to get it all set up with our namespace and our regions. All right. So namespace, so it's indiepixel.ui, and it can't, it is case sensitive, so you can't do that. Let's just make sure these are the same. Yep. Perfect. And we'll put it inside of some brackets there. And 
just organize this stuff. So add the variables region, like so. So region main methods. And I always like to just put those built-in Unity methods in there. <clears throat> and then helper methods, like so. Alrighty, and I do like to have my brackets for my methods spaced out like so. Um, it just makes your code easier to read. I've never been a big fan of keeping it up there. And it's funny, I, I actually do a little bit of web development as well. And it's funny, I'm used to seeing the brackets being next to the function like it was previously. But when I'm doing Unity stuff, I love to spread the, um, the code out. I, I love to use the lines. It's just For me, it just makes it easier, and I am used to it. So that's just a quick note there. All right, so that guy is all set up. So with that, we have stubbed in our script. So we are now ready to go and fill out the logic for our UI system. OK, perfect. Let's uh, close out this lecture and move on. Thanks so much.